talk now. Oh, she. Although I heard you heard me talking before the concert even started. I heard you heard quite a few things. I was happy I didn't say a four-letter word. So I did want to let you know this is the this is our senior night. So we give out awards to some non-seniors, but um, mostly to our seniors. I do request that all of our chorus members stay. Oklahoma Road, you may stay or you may go home if you'd like at this time. Also, anyone who is not here for the award ceremony, it is totally not rude for you to, um, to leave the stage or to leave the audience and uh, get a good night's sleep. Um, I don't think this ceremony will take too, too long, but you know, it, it's not rude for you to leave. So thank you for coming. I do have some thank yous to give this evening. Um, hopefully I remember all of them. I will be thanking our vocal, um, our vocal music boosters later on. I will ask them to come to the front of the stage um, to be embarrassed a little bit. I do that at the end of the year. Um, so if you would oblige. Um, I'd like to thank Mort Schumann for his video. <laughs> sending those out, so please look for my email link and support Mort and his great work. There are some gorgeous photos of your kiddos. Please do not ignore it, um, because I looked through them, all 2,000, and they're beautiful. Um, let's see, I wanted to thank our one sound man back there, Manning Everything. Thank you so much, Ryan. I appreciate it. Lighting this evening. I'd also like to thank um, the students who helped me choreograph. That is not an easy task, okay? So please rise for a round of applause if you helped choreograph any of the numbers tonight. Please rise for a round of applause. A group effort. It really is. I would like to thank our wonderful administration here at LHS. The, the support we give in the Fine Arts Department is really, from our administration here, is really like none other. I've been through many administrations and this is a unique experience to get the amount of support that we get here and we really deeply appreciate you. So round of applause for our administration. Fine Arts Department. Um, I know Miss Dixie was, was um, in the back lending and helping me. Miss Jason in her fabulous performance. And she's a wonderful department chair and just she's always there when I need something. So um, I hope she escaped. I told her to. So. But thank you to Miss Jason. Um, I'm glad I'm up here for a while because I feel like there must be. Oh, I'd like to thank the parents who get them to bring their kids out here for extra rehearsals and um, you know pay for those private voice lessons that you know benefit our program so much. Who um, don't ignore those sign up geniuses? Somehow they always get full. Um, who come out to the Chick Fil A nights? You're the one spending the money. I know that. So I want to thank our parents. So please give your parents a huge round of applause. students for their hard work and dedication. I push these kids every day. I push, I push, I push, I push. Because I want them to be the best they can be. I really do. It's for you. And I hope you realize that. And I hope you're proud of yourselves because I'm proud of you. So, thank you. Uh, round of applause for our students. Okay, and um, you know, it really hits home tonight that I only have a few more days with these seniors and that's um that's hard. So I'll miss you guys. So without further ado, if you are representing a senior tonight, come on up on stage and stand with your senior. 
I do have like maybe three words to give before you come on up, um, or, or as you're coming on up. So we'll get that process started. It's all good. Just don't stop recording. Thank you. that we have this school year. Um, we went to adjudication. If you're not familiar with what adjudication is, um, it's a requirement for our county and most counties in Maryland that we, um, that we sing three prepared pieces for judges and they rate us um, a rating of one through five, with a one being the highest rating you can receive. Um, and you can go in on a level between level three and level six. Um, six is insanity. I don't think anyone does that. But we went in at level five with our corral this year, and we received ones across the board. We are also adjudicated on our sight singing and our rhythm reading abilities. So there's some real musicality going on in the classroom. So congratulations to corral. went in at a level four and received ones across the board as well. So I'm extremely proud of these kiddos after a two-year hiatus to receive those marks. They were eligible to go to states. We decided not to go to states this year because it was a virtual experience and we thought that was a little anticlimactic. So um, we decided not to do that, but they were certainly eligible. Um, I would like to honor Hunter Fano, who represented us at the Junior All-State Chorus this year. Hunter concert this year. The first being Hunter Fano. Richard Morshane. Aiden 
study music in college, your hood would be pink. Our, our color gets to be pink. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. Um, okay, so we have four students who are Tri-M Honors Music Society graduates. Um, and they are Lily Gaff. Anna Sadler. Congrats, Kate. Our next senior is Miranda Feely. And she is represented by Lisa and Keith Feely. She's been a member of Chorus for four years. She's currently in the Chorale singing group. And she's attending McDaniel College and is undecided at the moment. So that's good. That's very smart. <laughs> Congratulations. She's a member of the Magical Chorus and Perfect Harmony and Chorale. Um, and she is going to Kent State University majoring in advertising. Congrats. <laughs> Anthony. Anthony Lim. and majoring in biochemistry. He's been a member of our chorus for four years. He's currently in the chorale singing group, and he happens to drive a nicer Tesla than I do. Congrats, Anthony. Brian is 
represented by Susan and Ben Marquis, and he has been a member of our chorus for four years. He is um, in the main men's singing group, also a magical chorus, and will be attending York College of Pennsylvania, studying either civil or mechanical engineering. Hmm, which one do I decide? Congratulations, Brian. <laughs> In your goodie bags, if you're a member of Chorus for four years, you get a medal to wear, so you can dig that out of your bag. And um, other students receive the cutest pin. It's got a paw print on it. It's a paw print music note. It's adorable. Oh, you're mad. You're mad. Are you mad? You want one too. Mm -hmm. uh, Mia Monaghan. Yeah, yeah. Mia Monaghan. Did she make it up? Yay! Mia! Mia is represented by Izzy Mitchell and Emily Marion. She has been a member of our chorus for four years. She's a member of Select Rebel and plans to major in biology at Mount St. Mary's University. Congrats. <laughs> Kylie Patterson. Kylie is represented by Teresa Patterson. She's been a member of our chorus for four years. Currently, she is in Corral, Madrigals, and she moonlights in the Select Travel <coughs> Group as well. She does it all. Um, she, uh, she plans to attend Carroll Community College and transfer after two years to major in education and minor in theater. Congrats, Kylie. <laughs> Anya Polika. <laughs> Anya is represented by Cindy, Dave, and Alex Polika, who also is a member of our chorus. Um, four years in the chorus and currently in concert choir, and is planning to attend Carroll Community College in the fall. Congrats, Anya. <laughs> Kendra Rock. Yeah! Kendra is represented by Debbie and Bob Ford. She has been a member of our chorus for four years and is currently a member of our chorale singing group and plans to attend Carroll Community College and transfer for a future career in sonography. Congratulations, Kendra. Anna is represented by Mark and Michelle Sadler. She's been a member of our chorus for four years. She's currently a member of the Magical Chorus and Perfect Harmony and plans to attend University of Vermont majoring in mathematics. Hopefully a minor in music, we'll see. You let me know. Congrats, Anna. Liliana Stevens. Liliana has been a member of our chorus for three years, and um, sh uh, she is a member of the concert choir singing group and plans to attend culinary, the Culinary Institute of America. Very cool. I've had some of her baking. She's fabulous. Aiden Walzak. Aiden is represented by Tammy Walzak. He's been a member of our chorus for four years, currently in the Magical and Chorale Singing Group, 
He is also a member of our main men and will be attending the University of Maryland College Park majoring in architecture. Congrats. <laughs> Mariah is represented by Beth Hutton and Rudy Williams. She has been a member of our chorus here for four years, currently in the Magical Chorus, and is going to Seton Hill University to play lacrosse and study biology. Congratulations. <laughs> Presented by Cindy O'Donnell and John Willie. She's been a member of our chorus for only one year, boo. Uh, well, we missed you. Um, she is currently a member, well, she was a member of our Select Treble and is also a member of our concert choir. And she will be studying <laughs> business marketing at Carroll Community College. Congrats, Erin. <laughs> Honor Zan. member of chorus here for four years, currently in the Magical Singing Group and the Main Men, and will be majoring in biology and minoring in entrepreneurship to become a sports medicine doctor. Honor is accompanied by Vicki Chatham and, sorry, Vicki Chatham Zan and Wingo Zan. Congrats, Honor. <laughs> And last but not least is Sarah Zentner. Sarah is represented by Mary and Matt Zentner. She has been a member of our chorus here for four years. She has been in our concert choir and also our select treble group. And her future plans are to attend Harrow Community College for early childhood education. Congrats, Sarah. Okay, so thank you so much, parents, for coming on up here. I know it means a lot to you and your student. Congratulations. You may return to your seat. That's fine. That's fine. That. That's totally fine. Okay. Cool. I'll probably just leave it wide now. Okay. I guess at this point, unless she's doing scholarships, maybe we'll zoom in. I don't know. We'll talk to you. Whatever. I trust you. <laughs> Whatever way you go, it's fine. being the Pride Leader Award, which recognizes a senior vocalist who has been a great example of leadership to students in our program. Whether it be through section leadership or just investing in others, this student has been seen helping other vocalists grow, learn, and understand what it means to be part of the LHS vocal program. Um, this student has a lot of other activities that he juggles and um, I, I know he was a ve very, very busy today, and somehow he got here in time. He was here for the 6 o'clock call. I was very surprised. You might see he got a little sun. He got a little sun today. Uh, but they did awesome. They won, right? Y'all won. So um, when he's not... He's 
singing. So he always has a smile on his face, and that's such a joy to be around. So congratulations, honor Zan the Pride of War. vocal activities, which this student has, and classes here at LHS. Um, she has been a member of our chorus for four years, and she participates in our activities outside of chorus as well, donates her time cheerfully, um, has a gorgeous soprano voice, and um, is always willing to help out, um, which is evident because she is as I mentioned a few minutes ago, um, kind of joined our select treble group in addition to Corral and Madrigal. So I would like to present the Vivid Award to Kylie Patterson. <laughs> students who I awarded this to last year give their medals back to me um, because I, I thought they would give it to them at the ceremony but you get an additional pin at the ceremony so keep your medal um, you can wear it in um, so this is presented to a student at the community awards banquet but also presented at tonight's concert and it rec recognized students who give great service to our department its students and to its director um, uh, it also recognized students who have been in ensembles for four years and continue to work hard and are reliable during their time at LHS, um, for the LHS vocal music department. So, um, I would like to give this first award to a student who is always, um, she's, she seems to always be by my side. She's just always by my side, um, whether I need a cup of coffee or a babysitter or um, to run copies, or, God, there's such a long list, isn't there? Um, she's certainly de deserving of this award. And also another student um, who I'm so glad was able to be here tonight. He stressed us out a little yesterday, but um, I'm so glad you were here for senior night. That would have really broke my heart because you do so much for our program. So I want to thank the two of you, Caitlin DeCoco and Brian Marquis. <laughs> and musical achievement for a male and female choral student to preserve the integrity of the top award schools are limited to two students per school so this is a national award that um, I've, I've always awarded at every school I've ever worked at so this is a really really high honor um, and these students have been part of our all-county chorus um, I know one of these students has done all-state um, in the past 
and they are in the top groups and perform in our very top ensembles, Perfect Harmony, Main Men, and um, I am proud to present this award to Lily, Gap, and Aiden Walls. <laughs> Director's Award for Chorus. It recognizes the talent and enthusiasm of, out, of an outstanding choral member. It is chosen by the Director of Vocal Music Department and awarded to one student who best embodies the qualities of being a Liberty High School vocal student. The award recipient shows qualities of advanced vocal knowledge, leadership, selflessness, an overall desire to see our department be successful. Um, this student is in our top groups, uh, Perfect Harmony. Um, she is always willing to participate um, outside of school to help in any way she can. She has arranged several pieces for, um, for some of our concerts in the past. Um, she is a unique musician. Um, I have her for music theory as well, which is giving everything away. But um, she's, she's a unique musician, very, very, very intelligent musician. And I'm so proud to have her, and I hate to see you go. Um, but the award, the director's award, goes to Anna Sadler. <laughs> scholarships and we're almost done seriously I'd say maybe six minutes so I tried to move it along more slow me down a little but it's uh, so um, I would like to have our um, vocal music booster um, um, executive board come join me you can just stand in the front if you don't feel like climbing all the way up here the front would be great and um, I can bend to you. Everybody. Um, okay, so Brian Saylor is our treasurer. So um, he does all the money. He keeps me in line with all the money. Um, I know sometimes things are a little confusing with the way we work our budgeting. Um, our, our, I don't know. I don't. I don't know anything about it. Uh, I just ask for money. I get the money, and you know, it's great. It's wonderful. So you do a wonderful job, Brian Saylor, and I'm so glad I don't have to do it. So um, here's a small token of our appreciation. Okay, this is weird because you're kind of lined up in the way that I have all these, uh, yeah. Um, Pam Schumann. She, she does all of our marketing and advertising, so I don't know if you noticed, but this place was packed tonight. We had such a tremendous um, showing, so um, 
That's, that's um, thanks to this lady right here. So Pam, we appreciate you so much. Here's just a little something for you to show up. Okay, seriously, Lisa Kelly was next. I'm, I'm gonna have you be last. You're last. And Wendy, this is weird. Okay, Wendy Perry is our vice president, and she's really special because she has stepped up to be president next year. And you know why? Because she's not afraid to do public speaking. She's fantastic. I don't know if you've ever heard her. But we appreciate everything you do. And um, that's just a little something to say thank you. Oh, see, now I lied. Okay, now I got Leslie all the way over here. So, Leslie Telfer. is that when I text her to say, yeah, I need like a craft ton, sorry, a, a boatload of cardboard to make pirate ships, she's like, she doesn't have the like response of what, what are you talking about? Are you serious? Like, that's weird. She's just, okay, okay, we'll make it happen. I'll put it on Facebook. She's not embarrassed to do that kind of stuff. You know, this gal makes it happen, I'm telling you. So I do appreciate that, and thank you for not making fun of me. That's very sweet. Thank you, Leslie. Um, oh, I never gave you, I did it. Oh, okay, uh, that's okay. All right, and Cindy Bacon, thank you, Cindy. Cindy is our secretary, and let's face it, nobody wants that job. Isn't that always the last to go? You know, because that takes organization, and it takes paying attention. And our, 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 um, our meetings are always online, so you could multitask, but not her. She's got to pay attention the whole time. So uh, we do appreciate that, Cindy. Thank you so much for all you do. Okay, and then we have Christine Rich. And she is in charge of all of our fundraising activities. And let me tell you, this year has been such a stellar year. And that's because of you. So thank you for your leadership there. No, sure, truly. So um, we have more money than no. I mean, I shouldn't say that. We, were, we are doing well. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. And last but not least, and I leave her to last because she is our fearless president. And she is leaving us because her gal Miranda is going off to college, so we're sad. But this is for you, Lisa Feely. Thank you so much. And I can honestly, honestly tell you, I mean, I don't think I've ever had a better working relationship with a booster uh, president in my life. You are so efficient and so like, you know, let's get to the point. What do we need done? Let's get it done and let's do it well. And I love that. I absolutely adore it. So I'm gonna miss you so much. I hope you stick around. And those flowers over there, those are for you. So um, thank you, thank you so much, Lisa. And thank you, can we get a huge round of applause?
what that means is we form a committee and we basically score each and every applicant. Um, it's based on a number of things, including the essay, including their involvement in the vocal program. And amazingly, within one point, all three of these kids scored. So I just wanted to share with you some of the things that were in these scholarship essays. Um, being a mother myself and reading this, it's, it's so special and so important to see what these kids learn in this program. Each and every person who filled out an application, they all talked about learning about hard work, learning about dedication, connection, the importance of community, and perseverance. And these are big words for these kids. So it's pretty cool to see them all write essays about it. Um, before I give these out and name our three winners this year, I'm going to end with one of the lines that was in one of the essays that I particularly loved. One of our students ended her essay by saying, I've learned that there will always be someone more talented, but as long as I have given it my all, I should be proud. And I think that's a huge, huge statement there, and I think everyone on the stage should be proud tonight, and I'm especially proud of these three winners. So everybody who wins this applicant or this scholarship tonight is winning a six hundred and fifty dollars scholarship to their university. So if I can first have I'll say this this um, girl has been in all four years. She has been in honors courses and she is leaving us to go to McDaniel. So Miranda Feely. here and teach you so it doesn't even feel like work so thank you have a wonderful night thanks for coming everybody